Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 5 best vacuums for hardwood floors, that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based in my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions and more. If you want to see more information in the updated price you can check out the description below and also make sure subscribe for more reviews. Okay so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, we have the Dyson V15 Detect. With each new release, Dyson continues to upgrade its V-series of vacuums, and the Dyson V15 Detect is its best model to date. Dyson upped its game with the release of the V10 and V11, see review below, and with two new engineering improvements, the V15 really is the best cordless stick vacuum for hardwood and carpets that money can buy. Like all Dyson vacuums, the V15 has a hefty price tag, but don't let that be a deterrent. The V15 has 20% more suction power than the V11, and its integrated HEPA air filtration system picks up 99.99% .99 of allergens, dust mites, and microscopic bacteria. Physically, the V15 resembles the V11. They both have digital screens that display battery life and vacuuming mode, on, off triggers, quick release, no touch bins, rechargeable batteries, and can be converted to a handheld vacuum. The most noticeable change in the V15 is the digital screen. The Pyro sensor display is a 4-bar graph that shows the amount and the type of debris. Yellow for allergens, orange for microscopic dust, usually in the lower millions, pink for dust mites, and purple for larger debris, including fleas. Moving on at number 4, we have the Shark, Rocket Duo Clean. If you don't mind the cord, the best stick vacuum for hardwood floors is the Shark, Rocket Duo Clean HV382. With more suction than any other model in our stick vacuum review, the unique dual brush roll Duo Clean system also takes top marks for grabbing dirt and small objects on hardwood floors. Our testers loved the handling of the Rocket, with swivel steering to maneuver around obstacles and into tight corners. The fully motorized head runs for as long as you need it to unplug in power, so it's a good compromise between a full-size upright vacuum and a cordless design. It can also work just as well on carpet and hardwood with one head, unlike the Dyson which needs to switch between surfaces. Like its big brother, the Apex Upright Vacuum, the Rocket is heavier than the competing designs in the same category. At nearly 10 pounds, it's about 40% heavier than the cordless Dyson and three times heavier than the lightest vacuums we've tested. That said, it's still an easy vacuum to use, great for apartments or anywhere the one-quart dust cup will be big enough to make sense. At number 3, we have the Kenmore, Elite. Picking the best vacuum cleaner for hardwood floors meant considering all of the different room layouts that would give different vacuums the advantage, and for tight quarters we like the flexibility of a canister vacuum. The Kenmore, Elite won top spot in our canister vacuum review, and its best qualities make it excellent on hardwood. The bare floor head of a canister vacuum is ideal for hardwood because it's light. If you don't have carpet, you don't really need the brush roll and heavy motor in your floor cleaning tool. Even if you have to wiggle a bare floor head around or lift it up to pick up the larger stuff, it's easy to do. Kenmore made this vacuum easier than most to switch between hardwood and carpet by designing the hard floor head to snap into the carpet head, which they call a crossover design. The carpet cleaning head features full control for height, so it won't get bogged down in long pile carpet like most other motorized heads do. At number 2, we have the V11 Torque Head. If you don't feel like shelling out big bucks for the Dyson V15 Detect, Another great cordless option is the Dyson V11 Torque Drive. The V11 was a big techno jump from the V10, but it's pretty much the same as the V15 without the Pyro sensor and laser detect. The V11 has the same power as the V15, so it will make short work of vacuuming up allergens, dust mites, and debris, but you won't know how much it's actually grabbed from your hardwood floor. The LCD screen was also changed from the V10 and tells you how much time the battery charge has remaining and the vacuuming mode you've selected. The torque drive head was also a leap forward. 
It detects what type of floor surface you're vacuuming and automatically shifts into the appropriate mode for doing the best job. The torque drive also gives a burst of power when the foot lever is depressed, which makes the vacuum charge ahead. The power rush made vacuuming easier, but we did find it made steering the vacuum in the direction we wanted a bit of a challenge. The V11 is a pound heavier than earlier models, and the same weight as the V15, so that small extra weight was felt when we separated the stick and used the vacuum as a handheld. That aside, the V11 is still a viable option for vacuuming your hardwood floors spick and span clean. Oddly, the V11 is currently the same price as the V15, however, you can get a completely refurbished one from Dyson for a significantly discounted price. And finally at number 1, we have the Mighty Might Pet Lover. For a house with mostly bare floors to clean, a canister vacuum with a good bare floor pickup tool works very well. The Eureka, Mighty Might Pet Lover puts a powerful bag-type vacuum in a compact canister, then adds a good filter and extra tool options to make it just a bit nicer than other budget-priced canister systems. You can use the two-mode floor cleaning tool on a rug by retracting the bristles so it glides along the top of your carpet pile, but unless you open up a bypass valve to let some air slip into the hose this design will just get stuck on medium-length carpet. It also lacks a system to agitate or brush dirt that's trapped below the surface. Eureka doesn't give you all the luxury features that come with most canister designs, like adjustable power control or a retractable cord. But the filter makes up for that by helping keep your air clean. The Eureka wasn't a top performer in any one category, but for bare floor cleaning it's a solid showing given the price. Thanks you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure like comment and subscribe, if you have any question related to this product you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.